hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to my car build chain episodes. Last episode, I made this, this BMW E46. It was okay, it wasn't probably the best car in my garage, but it's a good drift car and it was well worth making. So, that's one to pull out in a kind of online lobby or something like that. Uh, but I told you guys to comment what car you want to see, and if you want to see a car next episode, please leave a comment below. And if you want to see a comment with a car that you like the look of, give it a thumbs up, and yeah, the most thumbs up on a car. I will choose that one so if you like the look of one like a look of a comment or something just give it a thumbs up because if you comment the same car I'm not really gonna pay attention because it's the one with the most thumbs up right okay so last video the most thumbs up was a Nissan 370Z I've already made the 350Z but the 370 a little bit more power in it still got like this well, it's not really the same engine but pretty pretty much is the same engine I think it's a 3.7 or a 3. Point, it might be a 3.8 actually. I haven't really looked into the 370Z to be fair. Um, I, don't, I don't really like the look of it. I'm not going to lie. I prefer the 350 but that's my opinion. Um, I don't know. I just don't like... The front looks okay a little bit. Uh, the rear, I just don't like the rear. The way the roof comes down, I don't like it. Uh, but everyone has their opinion on cars. And someone probably likes this car to be fair. So, yeah. I actually just made my bed, I, was, I started making this video and my bed was like everywhere and I was like, I can't have that <laughs> and I hate the standard wheels, look at them, they're so gay why? why'd you do that to the car? alright, okay, let's get into this alright, upgrade let's go engine swap, I don't think I'm going to engine swap to be fair I really like the VQ, uh, VQ engine uh, I could V8 it, but that could be an idea actually to VA it. Uh, I'm going to stick with the VQ. I, I like the VQ. Oh, we'll drive. We won't have to do the hat. That's gay. Sorry, I, I've still got to stop saying gay. Like, I didn't mean it offensively. But This really annoys me. Twin turbo, race spring, and dampers. Why? In my head. Why does it say race spring and dampers? <laughs> okay. So, twin turbos. We want Twin Turbo. Um, the person who suggested the 370Z also said to... I'm not going to put bumpers on it. Um, sorry, I'm going to spit the word out in a second. Just want to see what spoilers there are. No. Uh, they also said to make it high powered, like a kind of like a, a D1 car. Yeah, so... They said up to a thousand brake, but I can't bring myself to do that. I just don't make my cars like that. Uh, I'll probably put it to about 500 brake. Uh, that's probably about what I do, to be fair. Um, I just can't use cars with that much power, especially on the wheel when I'm starting to get used to the wheel. I don't want to just put loads of power in the car and just not get used to it, if you know what I mean. So, yes, yeah, that, that's my just just my opinion. But I probably will make high powered cars, but it'll probably be later on when I'm better at the wheel. Because at the moment, not very good, bruh. They really suit this car. Okay. They don't. It's too chunky. Look at it. It's too chunky. Don't like it. Them. Choosing those. Enkais. I just couldn't be asked to look for wheels, to be fair, so I just chose the best ones that come up. Um, let's stick with 19s. I don't want to put 20s on. That's a bit over. That's a bit OTT. If you get what I'm saying. Uh, so we go on to drivetrain. Let's put everything racing here. Uh, race transmission. A lot of people don't do race transmission, and I get where they're coming from. But when something works for you, I don't see why I should change it. Uh, a lot of people suggesting that I shouldn't do race transmission, but it seems to work for me, so I don't see the point of changing something that uh, that works. Uh, I appreciate your opinion, but when it works, why change it? So we're on to brakes, race brakes. That looks a lot better lowered, though. Not gonna lie. So race springs. We want race anti roll bars. We want to adjust that. <coughs> Race anti roll bars again. Sorry if I'm speaking a bit weird, but I have got a cold, so. Yeah. And roll cage. 
And race weight reduction. So we're nearly out of class A already. I haven't even put any power into this yet. Damn, so. Okay, so what power are we at? 434. So I really need a. Oh, fuck, no. Oh, I really need a drink. Sorry. <laughs> My throat was just going well dry. I was like, I can't speak. Race exhaust. Uh, intercooler and oil and cooling. We'll do those. So we're up to 500 brake. That's what I said I was aiming for. 507. Now, I might put cam charges on. So I can't speak today. I think this is cold because I can't say long words. <laughs> um, cam shops, let's see what they push me up. 541579. They wanted a lot of power, so I don't want to go into S class. Um, I'm going to stay in A class and do 579 horsepower. It's probably my most powered car so far. So <laughs> Apart from the twin, uh, apart from the four rotor, the four rotor was absolutely insane. I'm sorry about my hair, by the way. I just had a shower. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's jump into Race of Silverstone and let's see what this car can do. Okay, V6 is found. It's so fucking nice. I just hate the real. I just hate looking at that. I just don't like it. <laughs> Sorry, the 370 lovers out there. I just, I just don't like the rear. I mean, it, it does look better in real life, but on the game, I just, I just really don't like it. Oh, I love a lazy V6. Okay, we made it round the corners, but not very well. But we fucking made it. Yeah, together we made it. Ah, oh, okay. To be fair, it felt pretty stable. <laughs> Don't even have to tune it. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um, so let's take this down a bit. Gearing seemed okay. Let's put quite a bit of camber on this. I don't want to go over the top with camber though. Now we need to get those wheels spinning a little bit more. Tiny bit of toe. Cast it all the way. Anti roll bars. To be fair, the front is pretty much okay. Let's bring up the rear a tiny bit though. Uh, springs seem just about fine. No wonder this car is pretty stable for me because this is pretty much how I tune my cars anyway. So just bring this down a tiny bit as well. Break in, nope. And let's lock the differential completely. There we go. Let's see how that goes. That scream. Fuck you know. Okay, that was fucking sick! What? That was insane! What even happened? I just drifted like an absolute tank! I don't even know if it was the car or just me on point. the weight in this car. Oh wow, this car feels fucking amazing. Shit. Have I just hit the nail on the head with this tube or something? Damn. That feels incredible. Incredible amazing. Look at that. It's got the weight to transition pretty nice as well. Okay, I think I found my new new best car. I found my new best car here. 
I don't even care. The way I'm drifting with this, and I've only just fucking made it. Wow. The power, the weight, everything's fucking perfect. Oh no, I've lost it. No, it's come back. Obviously not really the best, but it came back. Okay, I don't like this car anymore, so my shit is kind of my garage. <laughs> nah, that was my fault. I punched myself in the leg. There's one thing I will say, my fucking chair does not go low enough, and it really annoys me. But yeah, that, that, that's just a little excuse. But yeah, this car feels absolutely amazing, I'm not going to lie. Transition wasn't that good. The angle it doesn't hold very good angle to be fair. But comfortable angle is okay. Like it's not overly like 90 degrees, but the comfortable angle's there. It's just when it goes over say 60 to 70 degrees, pretty much out of it. I've done it at the same point again. I can't believe I've done that. That was my fault. This isn't the car, by the way, that's fucking up with me. Like I said, I'm not really the best on the wheel at the moment, but this car feels absolutely insane. I'm loving it. Just the weight and the power is just perfect. Maybe I'm going to have to put power in my cars that go up to about just under 600 horsepower because it seems just about fine. Obviously this car weighs a little bit more than other cars, but let's take it out wide. This car just loves to be thrown, oh my days. Wow, that feels good. When I don't fuck up like myself, you can see how good the car actually is. Uh, the last two runs before this, that was me. That was me being a derp. Uh, but this car... I know. I don't even think I'm going to touch a tune again. Same point again. I think it's me in that corner, it's just not having it. Okay. Okay, I love this car. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love the lack of wheel spin when you pull away in gear two as well. The acceleration is intense. Oh wow, I completely fucked up that first corner. I've recovered though. I love it. I'm not even going to touch the tune again. I think I've got it pretty much spot on. I'm, I don't see the point of changing it when you can handle it. <laughs> so yeah, the spin outs weren't, weren't the tune, it was me. Um, my mistakes and yeah, shit. Okay, the tune. The tyres, 28.5 and 29. Um, the gearing, did not touch the gearing. It seemed pretty much gravy to be fair. Alignment, anti-roll bars springs, damping, aero, the brakes, and the differential. So if you want to copy any of those down, sorry, <laughs> if you want to copy any of those down, pause the video, make it full screen, you'll be able to see the settings and stuff like that. If you want to upgrade, just go back to the start of the video. Pretty easy. And just follow through the upgrades, but yeah. I like that. I like that tune. So yeah, I hope you guys check out this tune. I don't know how well it'll work on the controller. Let me know if you do try it on the controller. Uh, it feels pretty nice. It's got the, just, just the right amount of power. It's got just the right amount of weight. And it throws itself into transitions. I love it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And comment what car you want to see next episode. 
and I'll see you guys next time.